Alright, we've got two packages here. This one should have the anime. And, uh, that's not the tab. Where's, where's the tab? The tab was the tab. Okay, it just didn't feel like it. Let's take this and put it there. So I don't have to go hunting for it on the floor. This is the anime, and this should be a Metroid Prime Remastered, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, this is a receipt on the inside, so I'll put that aside. Here's Metroid Prime Remastered for the Switch, physical copy. So, my reluctance to play this comes from mostly that I played on the very first GameCube release and there's certain bugs that I enjoyed utilizing that they had patched like one of the big ones they had already patched by um, the player's choice version and this one is obviously not going to have those either I've heard that you can get some of that stuff done but I don't know it looked pretty and it's still a fun game so I don't know I probably, I probably won't play it. Anime, though, seeing a bit of harmony. I'm just trying to think what I can make about this. It looks kind of fun. Energetic, kind of. Regions A and B, that's an English dub. Uh, that says how many episodes there are, but it's a movie. Um... Regions A and B. And DVD. Okay, yeah. Blu-ray and DVD. There we go. Da, da, da. I was trying to think what to look at. Confirm that one way or the other. Uh, there we go. Feels like these, the internal cover is a little loose. So this is a Blu-ray, feature film, this is a DVD, feature film. Put the characters on the inside there, and I'm not really sure what this is about. I mean, singing a bit of harmony makes it sound very musical. Well, singing is choir in particular, but I don't know. If it's a movie, it feels like it's more than just that. Oh well. Next up we have Blue Thermal. Which also looks kind of blue. Maybe not fun, but still nice. Let's see, Blu-ray, Region A. So I guess this is Blu-ray only. Hmm. Very pretty. I'm not quite sure what this would be about. So that's a very different artwork from what everything else has looked like. I wonder if that means anything. Oh, don't know. We got blue thermal. Very nice. And then last but not least, we have Dragon Ball Super uh, Superheroes. Which I think is a movie, and I need to research into it. This is a... Blu-ray DVD version, regions A and B. Should be an English dub as normal. Yes. Just confirm that's a movie. Yeah. I like how shiny the, the slip cover is. And I'm not sure if I'm looking at this right, but it looks to me like it's piccolo themed. Dragon Ball. Mm. Very Piccolo. Oh, that's Gohan. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, Blu-ray, DVD. One, Gohan, Piccolo, two. Hmm. So is that Gohan on his back there? Don't know. Oof. Uh, 
Oh well. That's nice and quick. Here's this week's anime DVD collection update. All right, I think it was a pretty um, normal watching week. Just pretty much the streaming stuff. And I think I've gone back and rewatched a couple of episodes from some of these because some of these series are being really nice. But going through, uh, we've got Adventures Who Don't Believe in Humanity Will Save the World, episode 11. Uh, more Stepping Man stuff. Entertaining stuff. Interesting um, thing it had at the end of the episode, I suppose. Um, nothing that's like... I guess nothing that's mind-blowing world building? I don't know. Like, I, I, I've, I've understood some people dropped it. It's maybe not that it's necessarily bad. It's just, um, I don't know. Something about the story is not gripping as much as it feels like it should. But, you know, it's not, it wasn't a bad episode. It was just another episode, probably on the more positive end from what I remember of everything else. Campfire Cooking in Another World with My Absurd Skills, episode 10. I've been enjoying this show more as it keeps going. I'm happy to put time into it. Sui is the cutest thing ever. Um, if there was anything cuter that I saw this past week, it would actually be um, at my nephew's birthday party. Um, the sister-in-law got her um, pet hamster. Now, normally it's asleep when I've been there. But this time it was awake and, you know, I got to hold it in a little bit better. A tiny pulse of my hand. It's so cute. need to be protected. But Sui is still the cutest slime ever. And other interesting things happened in this episode that are actually kind of in line with some of the predictions I had, but executed very well and very entertainingly. I'm enjoying the show. A Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princess and the Genius Young Lady. Uh, the show continues to be somewhat dramatic with what it's doing stuff. Some of the things I would say felt unexpected, but maybe it's fine because it means the characters are a little deeper than maybe you would think. But at the same time, you know, same old, same old. I want to see our very first main character be that silly tomboy that she can be. And the series feels like it had that for a little bit, but then it had to be serious for a whole lot of time. Oh, well, that could just be my own preferences out of whack. Let's see, Only My Episode 11. Um, what all happened in this episode? I remember there was some, um, the main character kind of being introduced to pretting herself up and running into unexpected consequences related to that. But overall, it was okay, I suppose. Entertaining. Uh, one misunderstanding in there. I, I don't know. I, I guess I don't like misunderstanding jokes. And there was a little bit of one in there, but that wasn't too bad, too bad. But, yeah, It's been an entertaining show. Um, nothing else jumps out to me right now. My memory for some of these episodes, I'm trying to dig them up as we go, because it's all fuzzy for some reason. Probably said birthday party. Um, the Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall Rule the World, episode 11. <clears throat> what happened in it? I remember some stuff where our main character's being set up to actually do some stuff. But I mostly remember the stuff being set up and otherwise the show being kind of a little bit not feeling like it's being driven in a way for us to be interested in the main character, I guess. I, I don't think I've put it into words specifically what's off about it, because the main character has his interesting enough moments. But, you know, like I mentioned earlier on, where it felt like it just sort of did something because that's the next thing the story needed to have happen. It's like, does it actually make sense for this to be something that these characters would be doing? Or is the plot just kind of convenient for making sure the next thing that needs to happen needs to happen? And, you know, it, it, that means it's an okay show with neat elements in it. Uh, let's see, it was setting that up. So, I don't know. I, I guess it was getting kind of action-y near the end of the episode. But it's not impressing me, per se. I haven't dropped it. Um, Farming Life in Another World, episode 11. Uh, no, okay episode. I would say this would be the first episode where it started to feel a little weaker, but it wasn't bad. 
I, I guess it's... Um, it might be an okay episode from the perspective of, you know, like, it's been doing a lot of village building, and maybe it's doing something that's kind of a little set up for whatever it's about to do in the next episode, which I think is the far final episode. Hmm. But I guess we'll have to see. Giant beasts of ours. Um, kind of entertaining. The story just kind of continues to do whatever it's doing. I'm worried that the next episode is maybe the last episode, and I'm not sure if it feels like it's thematically built up to something per se, but it could have. I guess we'll just have to see what happens in the last episode and what it means and things and feels, or if there's more to it than just the one season. Uh, Fruits of Evolution, Season 2, Episode 10. Um, felt like it was kind of another side distraction. Like, what was the point of all the stuff that happened in this episode? E even more so than the previous episode, Episode and a Half, or something like that. So, yeah... The show has its weaknesses. I was almost not going to watch the episode, but I guess I had the energy to do it just before recording this video. Uh, let's see. Chilling in my 30s after getting fired from the Demon King's army. Episode 11. I guess pretty okay action-y sort of stuff set up. Hard to tell if it feels like it's thematically built up to what it needs to, but... I think a lot of that will be determined by what happens in the battle that it's setting up and how it ends and stuff like that. Because it's hard to say. Let's see. Reincarnation of the Strongest Exorcist in Another World, Episode 11. I think a, f a fun follow-up episode from the previous episode. But maybe mostly setting something up, but I'm trying to remember. I guess the very end of it was a reminder of a, a big setup that was being set up in the previous episode and the next episode I guess we get to see something and we've been given some interestingly ominous ideas presented but I guess we'll have to see what happens uh, saving 80,000 gold in another world for my retirement episode 11 so episode 10 was an interesting jump back to ideas from episode 2 episode uh, ten, ten was jump back to things that had set up back in episode two. Nine seemed to have been moving that way, I thought. Um, and it started doing something that was really interesting for the show. Things that main characters said and did. And so for this episode, there was some follow-up to that, which was okay, but a little bit um, weaker than it was. And I think the problem is it, I, haven't, I haven't seen the payoff for the events that happened yet. Like, it felt like it would have been nice if it happened in episode 11, but it's happening in episode 12 after another thing has been set up. But for the most part, I'm definitely kind of curious what's happening at the conclusion of these events. One of the issues I have with the things that are executing is they did have our main character give a war speech, which was kind of neat, but it didn't make sense as to why and why the outfit she was wearing she was wearing. It felt a little bit, I don't know, like merc mercenaries um, kind of playing pretend, sort of, with the main character, which I don't think is what they're going for. I think we're supposed to feel like she's powerful, and she does say some things, command some things, come up with ideas that are nice, but it's weird because it sort of feels like the show has to give her um, crutches at times. So it, it doesn't feel perfect in that regard. But like I said, I'm kind of more curious to see where the payoff for this element of story is going to look like. So curious, at least it's some, um, you know, interest grabbing. Handyman Saito in Another World, episode 11. Um, for So I complained two episodes a little bit about how it seemed to be kind of a side distraction. It's built up to something that's neater and more meaningful than I was expecting, but at the same time, it's tricky because it kind of feels like it just sort of dumped a character on us for us to start caring about in a way. And so it feels a little cheap in that regard. Not necessarily bad, but just maybe it loses some of its oomph. But it's still interesting to see the stuff that's happened and 
I guess wonder what's going to happen next. I don't feel like the next episode, if it... I, it doesn't feel like the next episode would have any um, excitement per se. If it's a final episode of the core of the season, then it feels like it's going to wrap something up. But I'm not quite sure what. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see. By the Grace of the God, Season 2, Episode 11... Kind of, I guess, just an episode setting up for the final episode. Just... I don't know. I, I guess just by the grace of the gods, stuff sort of happening, you know. You kind of don't always watch it expecting for the most engaging conflict. And I'm not really sure there was any conflict this time. Just sort of... Wonderness, amazement, looking at stuff, sort of. Hmm. To Your Eternity, Season 2, Episode 19... This is an episode that I think I've been long waiting for. Season 2 has continued to provide... Now, granted, I mentioned that the last handful of episodes felt drawn out, but not necessarily in a way that's inherently bad, but in a way that's sort of like... you kind of feel the exhaustion of the war that's going on, I guess. And... I guess I'm kind of curious where it's going to go from here, because there are certain things it's done. Yeah, I, I guess I'm kind of curious. The next episode, because it doesn't look like there's been more produced, it looks like the next episode is the last episode of this season. And I'm kind of curious to see if it's going to end in a way where it feels like there's going to be more season, or if it feels like it's thematically reached um, an important conclusion. And I'm, I'm not really sure. So, curious. Let's see. Next up, Reborn to Master the Blade from Hero King to Extraordinary Squire, episode 11. Uh, I mentioned that the previous episode seemed to be kind of a... A more fun, like, I, I don't think there was action, but there was definitely fun setup to stuff that was about to happen, and stuff that happened in this episode was pretty fun. And it has set up for something big to be explored in the next episode, so I'd say pretty decent episode. So I'd say it kind of stayed pretty good. Probably started better, doing the little, dipped a little when everybody was apologizing, but it's back up to, okay, this is entertaining. So, definitely interested to see what's going to happen next. Beyond that, um, well, like I said, I was highly distracted because I had a nephew's birthday party in order to, um, as an adult, unfortunately, while it is nice to sometimes play the video games, sometimes it's a situation where you're like, okay, so, there's four kids here who want to play the game, um, they all have itty bitty tiny hands, so for most of them, pro controllers don't work. Their own Joy Cons that they brought make more sense because it's their Joy Cons, and then you know, okay, this is hers and this is his, and so it pretty much meant like. So we began with Duck Game. Duck Game only supports four people, anyways. But once we switched to Smash Brothers, it's like, okay, now she wants to play because she's familiar with Smash. Um, I couldn't. Con I couldn't connect her second Joy-Con while my um, Pro Controller was connected. Actually, I guess it was my brother's um, Pro Controller. So, you know, because it can only have four connections at once. Which means it can have eight controllers if all eight of those controllers are Pro Controllers. But, if you have Joy-Cons, each half of the Joy-Con is its own connection. It can only have eight connections. So that means only four Joy-Con pairs. So, you know, as the adults, you know, I made sure this, it got set up so that they could play and I would just watch. And for me, I had to also be the adult and keep track of, okay, his switch is there, my brother's switch is there, my switch is in the dock, her switch is over there. Um, she had the pink and the green Joy-Cons, he had the yellow and dark blue Joy-Cons, and my brother had the... Um, default neon red and blue joy cons and mine are black and so you know like again i was keeping track of absolutely everything so everybody had their stuff when they got when they went home which you know isn't that exhausting i it might be more exhausting to actually play the games but um you know it pretty much means yeah they're being loud kids they're, instead of being a close-knit group of t of um 
I don't know. I, I guess um, if they were a couple of years older and they were all close to the same age, they'd probably all be playing the video games. But this just had a mix of a whole lot of different ages and stuff. And less people, but a lot more noise. A lot more kids standing uh, two feet away from the television. Which makes it good that I wasn't trying to play because it would have been kind of hard to see. But, you know, that kind of draining. Just the socially draining because you can't, like, go off into a corner and just hibernate. That's about what I expected. Um, yeah, that took up a um, good amount of time. So everything else was mainly playing catch up around that and then Dead by Daylight, which I, like last week, I'm still trying to catch up and finish the rift. I think I'm off to a good start. I mean, it's it's like 14 more days, 15 more days, and there's like 13 more levels. So if I just get one item per day, I'm good. I'm going to try and do it a little bit faster so I wrap it up ahead of time. Especially since this time I'm holding off on purchasing the um, Rift Pass until I've reached everything because I just want to see it all get unlocked all at once. and I don't know. It, nothing impressive will happen. I just kind of want to see it for some reason. Um, if I get closer and it doesn't look like I'm going to make it or it's going to be a tough call, I'll probably purchase it ahead of time. I mean, 73, 74 items, somewhere in there. That's um, 73, 74 out of 85. Well, that's actually the number of levels. And I'm obviously in the deep rift. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Um, there's a total of 85 levels. And so I've just got, like, again... 12 or 13 more to go. Less than the, the number of days remaining, which is good. But... What else? I don't know. That's all stuff. Okay, found it. Tonight wasn't a night for grinding a whole lot of it, mostly because I had to plan this around things in the evening. And Maybe there's more to it than that. I don't know. I'm blanking. It's exhausting. Also, I have, to, I have to make sure, and anybody else watching this, uh, since the Nintendo 3DS eShop um, closes in uh, sometime next week, I think it's probably Tuesday next week, um, we need to make sure that we um, download whatever we're going to download, buy whatever we're going to buy. I think it's download whatever we're going to download is the main thing. Um... What else? Taxes coming up. I need to do my taxes still. I'm never in a big hurry. It's never bad. It's quick. It's just a matter of I have to sit down and focus on it. And Well, I guess that's the next big adult thing I have to do. So I'll probably do that this coming weekend. If not before. And the Nintendo eShop thing. Because 3DSs. I guess I'm mentally blanking on whether or not to talk about anything else, so y'all have a nice week.